What's up, everybody? Um, today's episode was the best episode I've seen since probably last week. I love today's episode. The return of Jax. That was a bittersweet return, I might say. Um, I'm going to get to Jax, Carly, and all that in a minute. I just got to say something about Dr. Ewan. What kind of fucking doctor is he? I know he's a psychiatrist. I'm just being sarcastic. He ain't, like, seriously, let me... Dr. Pepper is a better doctor than Dr. Ewan, I'm just saying. And this is Dr. Pepper, seriously. And Dr. Pepper is a better doctor than Keenan Ewan. Um, um, I did that actually on purpose just to endorse Dr. Pepper. They've been good to me. All right, let me stop. Um, <laughs> I thought Jax, when he came back, I thought Jax was going to be pissed at Carly. I was surprised how cordial he was to Carly. Actually, it was like they never had problems. Um, I don't really think he's bitter about what happened last year, but I think he moved on. You know, from the custody issue last year, you know, all that drama that happened last year. He seemed like he's real happy. Like, I guess he must have found a girl where he was or something. You know, I wouldn't put it past him. Okay, what's up with Jocelyn? Why is she be acting so mute all the time? Like, she barely said, like, like, she barely really said anything to Jax. Like, yeah, she lit up when she seen him and stuff, but when he was talking to her, she just had her head down looking at the dog on thing. I'm like, your father, whom you haven't seen in, like, a bajillion years, you should be a little bit more happy to see the man. And he bought you an expensive-ass gift. Um, and I hate the fact how Jack said that he sold Kate his shares of um 50 percent of um what's the name of the metro court i'm like Jax, you didn't sell her your shares you signed the shares over to her there's a difference when you sell the shares that means she wrote you a check and she paid for those shares kate ain't that rich and i'm sure 50 percent of the hotel is a lot of money so i doubt she actually paid for him plus they're friends so i'm sure he just signed it over of course to piss off carly um, but I'm glad that him and Carly actually joked about it, you know, about him signing over the shares to Kate. Like, it's good to see that. I'm glad that they were on friendlier terms, you know what I mean? Like, and she was just blushing over Jax. I could not believe Carly. Like, it was like, when she, like, the look in her face when she saw Jax, when she was just even talking to Jax, she was blushing. It was like, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I know what she's thinking. Johnny who? You know what I mean. She never even mentioned Johnny Zakara to um, Jax. Mind you, before Jax came back to town, she was ranting and raving to Todd and everybody else that, you know, announcing that Johnny was her boyfriend. They was together. She was with Jax. Like, she didn't even have a boyfriend. She didn't even mention Johnny damn name. And then on top of that, she was like, she's the one that found Jocelyn by the swing set. Memory serves. Johnny was the one who found Jocelyn. Um, so I'm like, okay. Trust me, Jax and Carly are actually going to be a part of my poll question later, so I just want to see what y'all think about that. But it was good to see Jax again. It really was, and I'm glad. You know what, Sonny is my favorite. Don't get me wrong. But I'm glad, you know what, Jax wasn't, he not fearful of Sonny or nothing like that. Hell no, he never really was. Because this is not about Sonny. This is about protecting his daughter. Jax is actually a lot smarter than anybody in Port Charles. He's figuring out who did this. And I'm sure he, in the back of his mind, he's thinking, Jerry, I guarantee you, he will find out it's Jerry before anybody else will. I can promise you that. Jason and everybody else look like they stuck on stupid. And that's not like Jason and them, but I can understand why Jason wouldn't think Jerry because he thinks Jerry's dead. But I'm like, Jason, hello, you done killed the man a billion times and the motherfucker keep coming back. Hello? Like, Jason and them, but I did like the scenes with Jason, Sonny, and um, Spinelli. That shit was funny. How Spinelli just kept on um, bickering on and on about lambs and sheep and shit. And Sonny was like, and Mary had a little lamb. Mary also had a little lamb. Get on with it. I was sitting there dying. I bust out laughing. I was like, Sonny is fucking comical when he was Spinelli. I was like, yo, him and Spinelli is 
they need to take their shit on the road because they funny as fuck together. I love Spinelli, Sonny, and Jason scenes. Them shits is hilarious. They made my whole day. Um, now he got to go. Where he got to go? I think, where, where, where did um Jason send him? Alaska? I think he sent him. I think, right? He sent him to Alaska. Ain't it fucking cold out there? That ain't that where the Eskimos and all that shit is? Why you gonna send him out to that cold shit? Y'all gonna go all the way, you gonna send Spinelli all the way out there just to find out that it's Jerry Jacks, which y'all could just put y'all heads together and figure it out on y'all own in Port Charles where it's nice and warm. God damn, like y'all, I hope they pay Spinelli very well for all this grunt work he do. Like, damn. Um, Luke and Tracy, they're gonna be a part of my poll question also today. But it was good to see Tracy again. Like, it's like she's been MIA for a minute. Like, I love Tracy scenes. Her and Joe Jr., she looked like she was mesmerized by that man. I'm like, she like she was all hypnotized by him. I'm like, okay, Tracy, put your tongue back in your mouth. She looked like she was mesmerized by the damn man. But that chicken soup kind of did look good, I'm just saying. Um, when it, like, I don't know. I'm just craving chicken today. I don't know why. I just like chicken. It's one of my favorite foods. Um, Tracy and Luke are a hot ass mess together. I'm like, she, you could just tell she was so jealous of Anna. She was pissed that Luke would, you know, go to find Anna. But I was thinking in my head, I'm like, Tracy, if you were missing or something, if he felt something was wrong with you and you were in a country, another country, he would move hell, heaven and earth to find you. Just like he's doing for Anna. It's nothing different. Don't be jealous about it. Shit. What the fuck? Um, I, I'm i mad that they threw Michael and Christina, I mean, Michael and Star into this whole Christina and Trey nonsense. I'm mad that they do that. Michael and Star, I mean, yeah, Michael and Star, they deserve some romance. Like, you know, Christina just don't know how lucky she has it with Michael. Like, he's like the brother any person would want. He's very protective. He's all of that in one. Like, he's very protective. Um... And that's what I'm saying. Like, he's very protective. You know what I keep thinking about is Morgan. Little Morgan Corinthos. That's who always been in my mind lately because I heard a rumor he was supposed to be coming back. So I'm thinking, how would they age him if he's coming back? I think he'll probably be like 17, 18. Trust me, it's going to be a part of my poll question later. Um, Michael and Morgan, that's going to be a part of the poll question too. Um, star. Star just need to go romance Michael and stop being so messy. Stop being in trade business. Stop meddling about his father and stuff like that. Go spend you go sex Michael or something, please. I I hate that they even put Michael and Star in this. Like I just hate that. Um, it's annoying. Jerry Jacks. This whole virus plant. How come Jerry got a poison? all of poor charles why you can't just poison people that you hate and i know the people that he hate he hates sam of course he tried to kill her a few times he hates jason he hates sunny he hates carly so why not just go after them why go after spinelli the quarter mains elizabeth all these people that you don't even care about that you don't really know well i'm sure he knows them but he never really interacts with them and I doubt he hates any of them. Why not go after the four people that you hate the most? Carly, Sonny, Jason, Sam. Why not go after them? You don't like none of them. Go after them. Fuck, you gotta kill every motherfucker in Port Charles for. That's retarded. Apparently, from what I read, he got some demands or something. There's a reason why he's doing all this. Jerry always has a reason. He got a list of demands or something that he want. Something, I don't know. Apparently, but tomorrow's episode looked like it's about to heat the yo. Tomorrow's episode looked like the shit is about to hit the fan. Jax, Johnny, Carly, just a mess. Luke, Anna, Anna looked spaced the fuck out. I'm like, oh shit, yo. Poor Charles is getting messy, and I love it. I love every second of it. Um, Ewan and Elizabeth. I thought I saw a different Elizabeth today when Ewan was all about to jump her bones and she and she was like, you know, they need to take it slow. I was like, Elizabeth taking it slow? She never takes it slow, especially with that little short dress she had on. I'm like, you will never take it slow. I'm like, Dr. Feelgood was trying to make her feel good and she objected. I'm like, damn, Liz, get it. 
I think she do got a little burning torch for Jason, of course. But I hope the writers don't go back towards the Jason Liz thing because I don't want to see that again. Um. Anyway, it's time for my poll questions. Question number one, do you think there's a future for Tracy and Luke? Poll question number two, do you think when Morgan, if Morgan ever comes back, there's going to be a Morgan versus Michael. Like Morgan's going to turn into Scar from the Lion King versus Michael, a.k.a. Mufasa, for the king of the throne in the mob, in the Corinthos organization. What do y'all think about that? Three, do you think there's a future for Carly and Jax? Oh, yeah, and this next question is tied into the question I just asked about Carly and Jax. What do you think about a Jax-Carly-Johnny triangle? That's all wrapped up. Those two questions right there are wrapped up into one. Four. What do you think? Who do you think? Because, you know, every time we have a virus storyline, one of the characters or two of the characters always die. So who do you think is going to die from this virus? Um, Let me know. Hit me up. I want to hear everybody's answers. Every last one of the subscribers I got, I want to hear y'all answers. Let me know. See y'all tomorrow. I'm out.